Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix Image Playground not working on your iPhone. So let's get started. Now, if you're looking for this new feature, it's going to be available on your iPhone. But the first thing is you need to make sure you meet the device requirement, which is going to be any of the new iPhone 16, iPhone 15 Pro, and the 15 Pro Max. Those are the only compatible devices in order to get this. And after that, you also have to make sure your phone is updated to 18.2 or newer. So in your settings, go to general, software update, and make sure it's updated to at least 18.2 or newer. If you have those two requirement, a compatible device with the right update, you'll get this image playground. Now, if you don't see it, it should already get installed automatically after you update it. In a case that you don't see it on your phone anywhere, you can come to the very last page and just search up playground and it should be up here. You can drag it out to add it just like that. Now, if you still don't see it here, you need to go to the app store and just download it yourself. So go ahead and find the app store. And once you find the app store, just search here on the search tab and then you're gonna search up playground. So if you search up playground, right, it's gonna be this image playground. This is the one you can see it's from Apple. Any other one is not the one that you want. So you want to just click on that eye icon or get icon. It will go ahead and download it again. Make sure it is from Apple and then you'll be able to get it installed on your phone ready to go. I have it installed as you can see here. So we don't need to do anything. Now, if you still don't see it, the next thing to ensure that your phone has Apple intelligent turned on. So in the settings, you want to go where it says Apple Intelligent and Siri. You might see that if you don't have this turned on, it might say join a waitlist. Join the waitlist, and once it's ready, it's going to say Apple Intelligent. You're going to turn that setting on. Along with that, you want to change the language to a supported one. I know for sure English works. There are some regions that don't support it, so make sure that is selected. And along with that, you're going to go back to the main settings here. Go to General, and then scroll down where it says Language and Region. And you're going to select the United States region, which works, and some other regions as well. I'm not exactly sure. And then the language, making sure that it's selected to English as well. And then go back to ensure under Apple Intelligent, this is turned on, and you should be able to get that. Now, if you still don't get it, the next thing you want to do in your settings here, go to General, iPhone Storage this time. You're going to want to make sure you have enough storage for you to be able to get the app to install. So if you're down to your last couple gigs, you won't be able to install the app. Here, as you can see here, I have about 88 gigs. So you want at least 5 gigs or more. If you don't, you can always delete some apps, delete some photos or videos, and that will clear up some space. And then go ahead and go to the App Store and try to download it from there if you have a compatible device on iOS 18.2 or newer. Now, if you're still not able to get it, the next thing to do is follow this method. You're going to quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll do volume up, volume down very quick, and then I hold on to the side button. And I'm going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears on the screen here. So we're going to wait here and then let go. Once you see the Apple logo, basically this is shutting down the phone software, reloading the code. So if it's a software related issue causing you to not get image playground, you'll be able to get it using this method, which will basically reload the code. So we're going to wait for the phone to turn on and go back and same exact thing. You should see the playground app. If not, just go to the app store again and then search for it. Just search for playground. Same exact thing we did in the beginning and you should see it available for you to go ahead and download and install. So that's how you get the image playground on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and all iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.